Hello, my name is Brad Reinbold. I am the CyberSchool Product Manager, and I want to talk to you today just real briefly about AutoTest and how it can help validate your VLAN segmentations. Let's jump right in. So from the CyberScope interface, I can jump into this auto test. And what I've done is I've kind of pre-configured this. I've taken a wired profile, which is a suite of tests, and I've called it segmentation test. I'm going to drill in here and show you that I've gone ahead. At the very bottom of this, I've added a test target called the accounting server. And so I'm a marketer here at NetAlly, and there's an accounting department and there's a marketing department. We each have our own set of VLANs. And generally, the two don't cross. I certainly don't have access to the accounting server. So let's go ahead and show how I might validate that. Let's jump into this target. Here's the IP address. I know it's 10.24.9.105. And I want to show one other thing here. If I go up to the settings, I have gone ahead and enabled reverse grading, which means that I, a successful test would be that Brad in the marketing group cannot get to the accounting server on the accounting VLAN. Let's see if that's the case. So we're gonna back out of here one more time. And then from here, I'm just gonna hit start. So this test will run pretty quickly. And again, it's doing a number of things, just tech, teching, testing base, basic connectivity to the actual switch, so forth, the VLANs it sees, all the way through the switch ports, DHCP, et cetera, et cetera. But what I wanna focus on today is the very bottom where you will see that the ping to the accounting server is green. That means, right down here, I jump into here, we take a look at this test card, that, in fact, I was not able to reach the accounting server from the VLAN in which I'm on to the VLAN in which the accounting server is on. So in this particular case, grading has been reversed. This is a pass. I have validated that the accounting VLAN is, in fact, properly segmented and that the resources and the information there are protected. I hope you find this video useful and thank you for your time.